Ladies and gentlemen, this is your opening contest, scheduled for one fall and a 15 minute time limit. First, from Black Oak, Arkansas, weighing 244 pounds, Jake Brett. The first victim of the Wolfman! Hey! The Wolfman, right? That's right! And his opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, weighing in at 251 pounds, Stan, the man, Lee. Set to go here, AMW Weekend of Champions, night two. Hey, scoot over, let me in here. Yes, sir. Mr. Batten, you're a Hall of Famer. How you doing, sir? Nice to see you again. I'm doing it's your pleasure. Good. Yes, sir. And you, we don't you. care about you. You know, I heard you two were a cure for insomnia, so I come out here to make sure everybody stays awake while they watch this DVD until the main event to Stan Sierra can become the AMW Heavyweight Champion once again. So uh, that's why I'm out here. What makes you so confident he's going to win the championship tonight, Phil? Because Stan's the man, Stan Sierra is the man in AMW. He was rightfully uh, lost the title. Excuse me, he, he lost the title under controversial circumstances. So he's going to regain it tonight and leave and leave here without a shadow of a doubt, the greatest AMW heavyweight champion of all time. But let's get to this match in the ring right now. Nice shoulder tackle there by Stan Lee, and another shoulder tackle knocks down the Wolfman Jake Braddock. Jay Braddock had a lot of strong words for Stan early on in the match before he got started. And a monkey flip there by Stan. There's an arm drag there. I'm not saying Stan pulled hair or tights there, but I think he did. Uh, I got to disagree with you on that, bro. Oh, Bart, come on. You know, you, get, you broke a few rules in your time. You know. Oh, yeah, we broke a few rules, but, uh, you know, we also tried to play by the rules, too. Who wants to do that? Where's the fun in that? There's a lot of fun in that. <laughs> Come on, Bart. Stan definitely has a little bit of favoritism, though, here with the crowd tonight. Oh, yeah, oh, he does. Wonderful maneuver by Jake Braddock there, the jawbreaker, ramming his, Stan Lee's chin into the top of his head. What an excellent maneuver. Yes, Bar, that's an excellent arm bar. Jake Dickley has good size. Hey, hey, listen, can you scoot over? You're kind of breathing on me and, and, and you know. Now he's biting me. He was Who's biting. biting? I didn't see nothing. I was talking to this guy over here. What is your name again? It's Anthony. 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 I yeah. call him Tony. Call him Tony? Yes. The tiger? Maybe? A little bit of an Possibly. Possibly? Okay. Okay. Hey, me and Bart are talking. Be quiet. Jake Braddock in control of this match right now. There you go. That's right, Jake, you are. That's what I just said. It's almost like he was listening to me uh, or that's something. That's a joke. He, now, Bart, he has a five count, so it's all legal within the rules until that five count. Nice hip toss hip by toss. Jake. Yeah, I have to give him credit there. Jake he trained him, though, too, didn't he? Who trained him? You. No, I don't... Oh. I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm trying a, to give you credit. I know you are. I know. I'm a business manager. I'm, a, I'm an advisor. I'm a manager. I don't, I, don't have, I don't train anybody. Of course, if I did, they would be just like Stan Sierra, the greatest wrestler of all time. Well, everybody's... Uh... Oh, nice clothesline there from Jake Braddock. Stan Lee, if he takes Jake Braddock lightly, Stan Lee could wind up uh, losing this match here. That's a heavy knee there. One, two. Oh, just a kick out. Barely. I think the referee's count's kind of slow here. These referees in AMW, they have the slowest counts of any referees I've ever seen. 
fan definitely doesn't want to have a loss to Jay on his record tonight here. No, he does not. I mean, but but again, Jake Braddock has been all around the uh, state of Kentucky, all around the world, from what I understand, and has quite a resume himself. So, if you know, if Jake does win, it's a feather in his cap. But certainly, no uh, no uh, bad loss uh, in Stan Lee's. Uh, record book. Of course, then again, any loss is a bad loss. Look at Stan Lee throwing the right hands there. Into the ropes. Ducks the clothesline. Oh, and the Wolfman, Jake Braddock, comes back with a clothesline of his own. Goes for the pin. One, two. Oh, at a two count. Barely. Barely kicked out of there, Stan Lee did. Jay better stay focused on Stan. He can't let Stan get too much momentum back. Crowd getting behind Stan Lee here. Oh, and up. <laughs> Excuse me, I got choked up there. Ooh. Two count. Nice little power bomb, there. power slam yeah, there, almost by Jake Braddock. Yep, yeah. A different variation that I've never seen before. It kind of shocked me, but it, it was yeah, almost as effective to get a three yeah, count. There was a two and a half uh, hand slam there too. Yeah, you mean the referee count? Yeah. Yeah, that. Okay. Oh, nice elbow there by Stan Lee. Here he goes. Neck breaker. This could be it. That could be it. And it is. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of the match, Stan the Man Lee. Well, a good showing by the Wolfman Jake Braddock, but Stan Lee comes out victorious with that vicious neck breaker of his and another victim. June the 1st at the Miller Family Fund Center will be the new AMW heavyweight champion, John Noble, with his first title defense. Yeah, you know, it's going to be a big night right there at the Miller Family Fund Center in Combs, Kentucky. You know, when I won this belt just a short while ago in the toughest match I've ever had in my life for the best wrestling promotion I've ever stepped in, yeah, I knew I was taking on a big obligation. You know, a lot of champions, they, they hide behind that 30-day clause. You know, I'm not that guy. I'm going to put this, put this thing on the line every night in every town that I step in. I don't care who's on the other side of that contract. When they come to this town, they're coming for this belt, and I'm waiting on them. Wrestling, a love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand, a brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. From counting the lights in your local armory to main eventing in Corican Hall in Tokyo, Japan. Collar and elbow, the wrestling brand. Are you a member of a church group? Are you a member of a sports team, local school, volunteer fire department, or any other nonprofit? Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling for a fundraiser to bring money to your organization. Have some fun, a night of professional wrestling, fun for the entire family, earn some money. Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling and help make wrestling great again. Wayne Atkins, big rematch at the Miller Fund Family Center June 1st. What's going through your mind about that match? Well, you know, Nate's still out and he's hurt, but I've got some great advice from Bart Batten about tag team wrestling. And come June 1st, it's going to be me and a partner of my choosing. I've got it down to three people. And Bo James, Mega Destroyer, June 1st, those tag belts are coming home with us.
Team Champions, the team of the Mega Destroyer and Bo James. Bo James and the Mega Destroyer win the match. Your first ever AMW Tag Team Champions. And now the Destroyer and Lemon Juice are going after Nate Diamond. Yeah, can you can you tell me honestly? I don't know what the Destroyer that? is doing. Uh, I saw the referee count three. Okay. So yeah, they did, but. Well, I can't Whoa! Just, I can't look just out! Just... Here comes Jake Brake. He's another one of Lemon Juice's clients, I guess. Bo just standing there saying, "Wait a minute." Oh, look, Bo said, go ahead. What the heck? Oh, a big clothesline of the Mega Destroyer. Oh, oh and Jake's yeah. got a hold of Lemon. Jake's got him. Uh-oh. Oh, no, what is Jake Brake going to do now? I think Lemon Juice is going to go for a ride he doesn't want to go for. Uh, yeah, and Up. And he will feel it. Down goes Lemon Juice. Oh, and Bo James and Misty James are laughing. They are loving every minute of it. I can't believe I just watched Bo James let, well, like I've said before, he does not like Lemon Juice McGee. And Jake kind of looking at Bo, and Bo's like, yeah. uh, hey, I didn't do nothing to you. Let's just. Yep, I know nothing. I yeah, Jake nothing. getting out of the ring, and <laughs> wow. Mist Look at Misty James laughing at what happened to Lemon Juice McGee. Wow. But folks, the outcome of the match, your winners and the first ever AMW Tag Team Champions, the family, the Mega Destroyer and Bo James, as Misty James applauds, Lemon Juice McGee tries to find his oxygen and his lungs from the choke slam. Bo pushes Lemon Juice out of the way. Here with the new AMW Tag Team Champions, the Mega Destroyer and Bo James. You refer to me as your majesty, the king of the mountains. Now we proved to everybody that we are as good as we said we were. We proved to everybody we're as bad as we said we were. We proved to everybody when you back us against the wall, we're going to come out swinging. And they put team after team in this tournament thinking they were going to take care of the Destroyer myself, and right here we are. And Wayne Atkins, you were late to lunch to getting in this deal, and somehow you keep coming back, and you got a new partner. you got a mystery partner you don't want to tell anybody. you got Bart Batten giving you advice. I've dropped him and his brother on their head repeatedly in my career. I have slapped them around, so you better ask them not just some advice on tag team wrestling. You better ask them what it feels like when you get beat up by both. No, you don't have to ask them because you already know. I've been beating you up since you were 17 years old, punk. You go get whoever you like to be your partner because I'm going to prove it to you once and for all. You can't beat me on any given night. You keep that idiot manager far away from us and we will keep these belts. And I'm going to prove to everybody out there as I have been for the last two years here in AMW. I'm the man that likes to hurt people. I am the avatar of the Appalachians. What are you doing out here? Uh, Bo keeps being mean to me. He's constantly yelling at me. He has Misty grabbing me. They've been, they've been pretty rough with me today, man. I don't... I thought you said you were going to take care of You're like a chuck the life out hey, of you right now. Hey, see, that's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. I can, you know I can't stand that guy, and you keep bringing him around here. I'm going to kill him. of a church group, are you a member of a sports team, local school, volunteer fire department, or any other nonprofit? Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling for a fundraiser to bring money to your organization. Have some fun, a night of professional wrestling, fun for the entire family, earn some money. Partner with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling and help make wrestling great again. Kyle Maggard here with Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, the premier wrestling organization in Southeast Kentucky. No, no. Southeast United States. Now our offices get flooded with questions day in and day out. 
about how you can get your Appalachian Mountain Wrestling merchandise. Well, I'm here to tell you now. You can go to ebay.com, search Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, find our online store there. You can get your own Appalachian Mountain Wrestling shirt that I'm wearing. You can get all of our special DVD tapings, whether it's Thanksgiving Turmoil, Hardwired, Weekends of Champion, Summer Bash. Get your special superstar photos. Get them signed, get them unsigned. Prices may vary, but the pro all the products are the same, and that's simply the best because we're Appalachian Mountain Wrestling, and we're making wrestling great again. AMW returns to the Miller Family Fund Center June 1st, and I'm with Daniel Richards, and you've got a lot going on that night. Yeah, except for I don't, because I'm not coming, because I'm not getting my fair shake here. Hey, get that microphone not so close in my face. I'm not getting my fair shake here at AMW. You just, just a perfect example is Night of Champions. That match was rigged, dare I say. This promotion, this company has an agenda against me, and we all know what that's about, Nathan. Don't shake your head at me, Nathan. Ever since you've shaved your beard, you are just not the same guy. Have some respect. Hold the microphone at a proper distance from my mouth too close. Much better. Okay, so I'm not coming to Combs. I'm not coming to the Miller Family Fun Center, and I'm not doing any more interviews with you, Nathan. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy my own time, and that way I'm going to be able to be uncensored and say what I need to say without interruption from this bias promotion against me. Listen to the crowd and the ovation for the heart and soul of AMW himself, Kyle Maggard. With special guest enforcer Leaping Lanny Poffo, just brought, just all of a sudden just added thanks to Scott Diamond and Kyle Maggard. How unfair, how unfair that is to Sean Cruz. How is that unfair? Well, Sean Cruz didn't prepare for this. He prepared for a one-on-one -on -one matchup probably with Kyle Maggard, and then all of a sudden Kyle Maggard and Scott Diamond want to come in here and stack the deck against Sean Cruz. Well, if you were a good trainer, you would know that you had to train your guys to... Whoa, Kyle going for the rock for bottom. Whoa, Kyle quickly going for the rock bottom there and Sean gets out. You never know what's up Kyle Maggard's sleeve. He's a former AMW champion and he had a great backup plan tonight, Phil. He's a former AMW heavyweight champion, but you know who's beating for that title? Do you know? Do you know? Let me tell you, Stan Sierra, that's who. And Kyle, you, I can tell you what's up Kyle Maggard's sleeve. Nothing, because he didn't wear any. Yes, Stan did beat him, but he cheated to beat him. No, he didn't. You see it your way, I see it the right way. So there well, you go. I was getting ready to say the only way he could have beat him was to cheat on him. So. No, Bart, come That's on. Two against one. Thank you, Bart. Two against one. Two against one. What are y'all, schoolyard bullies now or something? Come on now. I've always been a schoolyard bully. And I just go with what my eyes see. Oh, yeah. The truth, well, the truth, and nothing but the truth. You know what? You're both imbecilic idiots, so let's just go on. Let's move on. Nice side headlock there by Sean Cruz. Referee should be checking this. Kyle might give up. Oh, Kyle reverses it. Stan into a wrist lock. Oh, into a headlock of his own from Kyle Maggard. The former champ's not going to give up that easily. No. He might. You never know. He's definitely not going to give up. Yeah. Into the ropes. Nice shoulder tackle. Ouch. From Kyle Maggard. Sean's getting out of the ring there, wanting to take a breather here. Oh, he's saying that Sean pulled hair. Or I'm sorry, Sean is saying that Kyle pulled hair. You know what I... I I would have to agree with him. I think Kyle Maggard did pull the hair there. I didn't see it, but I've never known Sean Cruz to lie. I think lie. that's ridiculous. He ain't got no hair. I don't see any, Bart. No. Who doesn't have any hair? Sean. Sean. Yes, he does. He's got new beard. Look at Lanny Poffo over there giving it to Sean and distracting him, trying to give Kyle Maggard an advantage. Lanny knows what he's doing. He knows yeah. what's up in this field. Kyle don't need no hair. Well, then why is Poffo out here then? Why'd he stack the deck? Oh, 
maybe cause he might think that you might want to get I would no, I would it. not. Okay. Unless Sean Cruz asked me. And then I might. Oh, nice reversal into a high back body drop from Kyle Maggard on to Sean Cruz. Cruz trying to get out and take a breather. Here comes Lanny Poffo sneaking up behind him and makes Cruz jump back in the ring. Cruz tried to take the easy way out there. Sean Cruz was just trying to call a 30 second timeout like he's allowed to do and they wouldn't let him do it. That's there are all. No timeouts and risks. Yes, there is. There's, there's timeouts in everything. There's no timeout. Hey, you know who needs a timeout? You do. Why don't you go yeah, take a timeout? Unless, unless you've changed the rules. It's in the rule book. I told you. I wrote it. It's in the rule book. Well, that, for okay. a cheap 19 bucks. What? Say it again. For a cheap 19 bucks. Think about 1995, pal. Let's get it right. Plus shipping and handling. The crowd solidly behind Kyle Maggard, and I don't know why. He's the hero of AMW. Wow, they, you oh. know, I know. Oh. All of Kyle's 300 and some odd that. pounds down on that arm of Sean yeah, Cruz. That I don't care what AMW says. That's right. Shoulders down for a one count. You know, when you said Kyle Maggard was the hero of AMW, they need to get a better hero. They should look up to somebody like hold on, they should look up to somebody like Stan Sierra and myself. We're the we're the real heroes of AMW. After all, I come from the great city of Louisville, Kentucky, down here to the Appalachian Mountains, and in into AMW to give you my knowledge, my expertise, and grace you people with my presence. I used to live in Louisville, great city, and I will not dog it, but just because you're from the big city doesn't mean we don't know anything. Oh, Kyle Magger throwing a right hand there illegally. You used to live in Louisville, huh? I heard yeah, we kicked you out. We did. We were smart then. Let me guess. You were. You were with. You were with Patino, weren't you? No. I heard sexy Stan was. Uh, Sean. I mean, was kind of cheating there. I will admit it. He had Kyle choked over the rope. Oh, and a and another nice little maneuver there by Sean Cruz. Here you go. I think he's going to try it again. To the well one too many times did Sean Cruz. Kyle's going for the pin and a two count. I know all three of us know that hurts. I'm gonna keep why you keep insinuating. I never get into any kind of physical altercation where I get hurt. Okay. But but that would hurt, yeah. You're right. Cruz still with the momentum here. Sean Cruz. Oh, and a big right hand to the face of Kyle Maggard. And yes, I did see that. I'm so I will say it was a big right hand. Oh, and it drives his knee to the back of the neck of Kyle Maggard. And look at him grinding his knee on Kyle's neck. Double axe handle down, goes for the pin. Two count, Kyle kicks out. Referee counting kind of slow there if you ask me, but. How much longer Crowd getting behind Kyle again. Crowd needs to shut up. Sean Cruz is trying to concentrate. Oh, and a look at the right hands by Kyle Maggard. Oh, my. Throws Sean Cruz into the ropes. Here comes Kyle. Big splash. What's Kyle going to do now? Huh? I felt that from over here. I did. Oh, Cruz throws Maggard right into the referee. What is Lanny Poffo doing? What is Lanny Poffo doing? Why is he even in the ring? Oh, and a knee that, that Sean Cruz misses. Kyle's got him up. Rock bottom. I'd say it'd be the three. Oh, and that's a three as Lenny Poffo makes the three count. This is ridiculous. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Here with Sean Cruz, and you just finished the weekend of champions, not one and two. You finished one and one over the weekend, which gave you a 500 record. What are your thoughts going into your matches in June? 500 is not going to get me where I want to go. One and one's not good enough. So here's what's going to happen. From now on, everyone's on notice. Everyone in AMW, you're going to see what I can do. 
So from this point on, you're all on notice. Thank <laughs> you.